We are in Split, Croatia. It's the second largest city in Croatia. We're in Diocletian's Palace. Diocletian's Palace is like the heart of the old city. Um, and it's like 2,000 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really beautiful. We just found this really cool model of the city. Do you want to show where we are staying at? Yes, we are currently staying in this little spot right here. with an official tour guide. Apparently it's a guy that's lived here all his life. Yeah. So it should be very informative. We heard that he shows a lot of like insider, secretive stuff that so you wouldn't get on a regular tour, so. Booked through Airbnb. Yeah, booked through Airbnb. Split is a very old town. This town was established in the third century before Christ. So here we have about 23 centuries of history. This, the first name of this town was Aspalatos, and Aspalatos is actually a Greek word. So this town was a little Greek uh, trading post, a little place where Greeks were trading with indigenous people. So for that reason, this little town was established by the old Greeks. During that long period of Roman government, uh, a very important building was built here that was a so-called Diocletian's Palace. Mm. It was built by the Roman Emperor Diocletian right here and uh, the palace was built 17 centuries ago. thousand five hundred years old wow. as well and we know actually who kind of like financed this thing so this thing was financed by the Egyptian pharaoh whose name was Thutmes the third at the base of the Sphinx we can see still today we can see hieroglyphic inscriptions for the whole list of towns that were conquered by pharaoh in oh, Syria wow. and then in Asia were wow. sacrificing on that piece of rock oh, wow. 23 centuries ago and also down below we have found ruins of a Greek temple as well wow. for the 3rd century BC So we are enjoying chocolates from our amazing tour guide his name was Flip, we booked him through Airbnb. It ended up being like a two hour tour because he took us like off the beaten path and showed us all these cool things. Like basically any question we asked about anything. Um, he knew the answer. He knew the answer, like, like that. beyond the answer. Yeah, and like just showed us all these cool places. It was, it was one of the coolest tours. It's really good. I, mean, I guess we haven't done a ton of tours. We need to do more tours, but <laughs> it was amazing. And then when he left, he gave us all little chocolates. Gave us a map, map of like local recommendations at restaurants and places to go. The kids survived. It ended up being two hours. I'm gonna try these chocolates. Now. Yeah, almonds. And then yummy. Mm. Mm. Are really good.
so I just googled it and um, this is the oldest cathedral in the world that's still, um, that's still holding services yeah it's pretty crazy <laughs> Uh, cathedral was originally built in 305 AD as part of the Palace of Diocletian and was originally built to hold his sarcophagus as a mausoleum but in the 7th century it was taken over as a cathedral dedicated to Mary. That's why it's so small because it was yeah. never meant to be a church. Yeah it was just supposed to be a burial place of Diocletian but the uh, Catholics and Christians around here got the revenge after they took over. And it's been a Catholic church ever since for about 1300 years, which is why it is the oldest operating Catholic church in the world. Well, the more you know. Yeah. This area we found out, which I don't think we would have discovered on our own. No. Um, but our awesome tour guide showed it to us. This is where the public bath would have been. So Diocletian had his own bath um, just for him. And then this is where all the Roman soldiers, townspeople would have been allowed to bathe. It's cool because you can still see the mosaic tiles. Photo scavenger hunt where we're split up into teams and um, we have a list of things that we need to find. When we find them, we take a photo of them. We're chasing after our first one. What is something it, Em? That floats. Something that floats. This is the perfect something that floats. We're on the hunt. We think we won. We are officially done. It we finished. 21 minutes. 21 now we just minutes, need to 19 meet seconds. Them back at the Riva Riva. We haven't seen the official time yet. Yeah, but they wouldn't have. They would have said we won. At least that's what I think Emerson would do. Are you saying that Emerson gloats? Yes. We probably won because they said it was hard. So we're just gonna relax. Intimidate them. Intimidate <laughs> them. Yeah. We'll see. Do they think that they won? Now we're gonna look at look at it and see who the winner is. We, it was, we tied. Well, 
hold on. Emerson and I won technically by four points, well, but we won by, by four, four minutes. Technically, we won based on time. Oh. So we talked it up to a tie. We we won, which is kind of lame. So let's go to the candy park. We've been meaning to try it. It's, it's a local delicacy. It has cuttlefish in it. What did you get? It's a fried calamari. Also a local dish. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready. It's going to be really fishy. Take a big old bite. Here we go ahead. <laughs> Do you have ink in your teeth? So Do it's I? it's cuttlefish ink, right? And cuttlefish pieces. This smells like... Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Simple comfort food. Can I try? Hey. Nice. That's really good though. Is it life changing? It's lightly breaded. You can taste the calamari. Mm -hmm. oh, it's really good. It's light. This smells like. Yo, we were in splitty split, split. <laughs>